my name is Grace McIntyre and I'm an undergraduate biology student at Marion University. Today I'll be discussing the role of the ceramide metabolism enzymes, ceramide synthase and acid sphingomyelinase on lipid metabolism. So the World Health Organization has noted that since 2000, the global life expectancy has increased by five and a half years. As individuals continue to age, their ability to perform daily motor and cognitive functions diminishes, putting them at a greater risk of contracting chronic diseases like Alzheimer's and obesity. As the baby boomer population continues to age, more and more individuals are at risk of contracting these chronic diseases, making it really important for us to continue to study aging and its biomarkers. Specifically, my lab is focused on the sphingolipid ceramide. Ceramide is known to increase in its relative concentrations as individuals age. Ceramide is responsible for responding to oxidative stress and for recruiting apoptotic proteins that cause cell cycle arrest. As individuals age, their ability to eliminate reactive oxygen species diminishes, which is what causes cell damage and contributes to the aging process. To assess the role of ceramide, we decided to look at its enzyme mediators, acid sphingomyelinase, represented by the worm ortholog ASM3, and ceramide synthase, represented by the worm ortholog HIL2. ASM3 is a mutant that tends to live a little bit longer, while HIL2 is a mutant that tends to live a little bit shorter. We wanted to look at the physiological role of these mutants on the response to oxidative stress, so we used an acute paraquat exposure assay. If you take a look at these graphs here in figure one with survival over lifespan, you'll notice that in the three-day and eight-day-old worms, that HIL2 here marked in blue responded poorly to oxidative stress. This is really interesting because it can show that HIL2 is a really important gene in responding to oxidative stress. After demonstrating that HIL2 mutants respond poorly to oxidative stress, our lab wanted to analyze the role of ceramide metabolism on broad lipid changes. To achieve this, our lab previously conducted a lipidomic assay where we analyzed 700 different lipids in wild type and different aging mutants. We analyzed two long-lived mutants, ASM3 and E2, and two short-lived mutants, HIL2 and DAF16. We began our analysis by looking at lipids with known effects on aging. If you look here at figure two, we're beginning to look at omega-3 fatty acids, which are known to have effects on longevity as they increase with age. They're also known to augment autophagy and be really important in the anti-inflammatory processes. Figure 2a is looking at arachidonic acid, which is converted to icosopentanoic acid, shown in 2b, by a fatty acid desaturase gene, FAT1. You'll see in both a and b that there is an increase in the concentration of these lipids from one to five day in all mutants. But what's interesting is that for HIL2, which is shown here in green, that there is a continued increase in the concentration of AA and EPA from five to 10 days. While if you look at ASM3, which is our long lived mutant, there is a decrease in the concentration of both of these lipids from five to 10 days. This indicates that EPA metabolism may speed the aging process, which supports previous studies. We then decided to look at triglycerides, shown here in figures 3a and in 3b. Triglycerides are known to increase in concentration in the blood as individuals continue to age. In worms, it's known that increased triglyceride hydrolysis has been shown to increase longevity in worms as well. So here we're looking at long-chain triglycerides in figures a and in figure b. You'll notice that triglyceride levels were increased from 1 to 10 day in our short-lived mutants, while they decreased from 1 to 10 day in our long-lived mutants. This suggests that a reduced metabolism of these triglyceride chains could be related to an increase in lifespan. We then wanted to expand upon our lipidomic findings with enzymatic data using RTQPCR on 1, 5, and 10-day-old ASM3 and HIL2 mutants. That way we can elucidate lipid metabolism differences on mutants with altered ceramide metabolism. Over in figure two, we show that there was an increase in AA and EPA from one to 10 day old HIL2 mutants. AA to EPA is catalyzed by the fatty acid desaturase gene, FAT1. We used RTQPCR to analyze the expression of FAT1 and another fatty acid desaturase gene, FAT4, in wild type and HIL2 mutants. Although we didn't show any differences between FAT1 expression, we saw that FAT4 decreased with age and that there was a really low expression of FAT4 in the HIL2 mutants. We'll have to do further studies to analyze what these changes may mean. I wanted to thank you all for watching this, and I want to invite you all to come by and ask any questions if you have any. And I want to thank the Marion University College of Arts and Science for all their support for this research.